Good morning. We're going to teach you how to do a subcutaneous injection today. I usually like to pick an area that is around the abdomen, like in the love handle area, just because it's easy to grab and easy to see. You want to alternate between sites. Um, one day if you do left, the next day you can do the right, but you want to try not to inject exactly in the same spot. So what we need for setup is going to be your alcohol. Um, I have alcohol and a swab. If you have alcohol pads, that's great. I have the medication that I already took out. And um, when you first start with the first vial, there's actually a cap on it. You'll have to pop off that cap. I already popped off that cap. And then we're gonna go ahead and loosen off that um, tip of the insulin syringe just so it's easy to get off. And then we're gonna take off the plunger. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the alcohol swab ready. Um, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the top of the vial, and then we're gonna take the area that we're gonna inject and wipe off that entire area. And as that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and grab our insulin needle. And so what we're gonna see here is the numbers here, and when we draw it up, so you'll see that the bevel's up, if you can see, it's a tiny needle. So you're gonna stick it in, and you're gonna tip it upside down, and you're gonna draw slowly and I'm gonna be drawing up 0.25, which is the 25 mark here. And so you'll see, as I stop at 25, it actually is, the top line is the 25, not the bottom line, okay? And then we'll go ahead and flick it. And as we do that, then that will take a little bit of the air out. And as we go into this area here, so bevel up again, so there's like a little bevel. We're gonna grab that area, and what we're gonna do is we are going to have bevel up and we're gonna inject really quickly, 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Quickly, not uncomfortable. You can release that hand and then pull the plunger back. As you pull the plunger back, if there's no blood right here, then you can go ahead and inject it. And we're gonna inject it really slowly. And if you take that vial out and let it sit on the counter for a little bit, it actually is better because the fluid is not quite as cold. And that's it. And then you remove it. If there's no blood, then that's it. If there's blood, then you can just kind of dab it and hold it with that alcohol swab. That's a subcutaneous injection. Thank you for watching.